If you are starting year 10 and about to start your GCSEs and you're watching this already, then that is absolutely brilliant. Well done. Um, because this shows that you are dedicated and interested and if you're watching my videos already, then you're probably going to do really well because you're actually putting the effort in at this point. Now, I know you are obviously worried about what's happened in the past two years, whether it's going to happen again, or are there going to be exams in 2023 for you guys? Um, we do not know that far in the future yet. But I am like 95% there that we're going to be exams next year and the year after and things are going to go back to normal, whatever normal is. Now, there are lots and lots of things you can do right now to make your lives easier um, for when we come around to exams, for when we start doing lots of revision. So one of the great things you can do is just to get organized now i love having folded things having things organized like just don't look at how messy my desk is at the moment it's causing me anxiety but i love having organized folders and having things looking like aesthetically pleasing while you're doing that so just go and do the back to school shopping go and do the stationary shopping and get yourself some nice things that you're going to want to use and want to work out make sure you have a clear study space which is focus and you can get like these posters to stick up or study planners to stick up and get organized and get sorted it is really important that you if you miss any lessons that you catch them up because um, a lesson that you miss for a dentist appointment or a piano lesson or because you're in a hospital because you broke something um, might be like a six mark question or a 10 mark question or a 20 mark question in the exam. And if you miss that and you don't catch it up, you can find yourself in trouble. So even if you don't get to borrow somebody else's books to copy down the work exactly, at least try and find out like the title of the lesson and then look up a video on YouTube about that, what you can do, and um, just try and fill in those gaps. I have checklists which you can download for completely free and then print it at home stick in your folders and then just go through and tick stuff off once you've done it tick stuff off once you know it. and that's a really easy way for you to identify where there are any gaps and what sort of things that you should be um, doing what sort of things you should be feeling spending your time filling those things in I know this sounds like me being a really naggy teacher, but just keep on top of everything. Keep on top of your homework, um, keep on top of your schoolwork, catching up any gaps. And then by the time we come to this point next year, when it all feels a bit more real, like exams are actually very, very soon, um, you're going to be in a much, much better position because you'll have all your notes, because you'll have everything sorted. So, um, welcome to the channel, guys. Um, we are on for a fun journey.